Commentary booth, Je Manly, Jack Manly. You almost got it. You almost had it right. That's right, folks. I am Manly Jack Manly. This is the Marble Mouth Peter DeLong, or DeLong as he calls himself now. I don't know when you made that change, but we are making... and is the current full faith light heavyweight champion with the obvious influences by Jeff Hardy and Rey Mysterio and he has come to represent his school here tonight at this scramble match. And he is buzzing around that ring like a lightning bolt strapped in a bottle. He is going to bring some excitement to this match of that you can do. So, a lot of high flying competition here that's going to be going on. I think we need to get some air traffic control before this match is over. That's my, that's my uh, prediction. Hey, 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 hey. Give us a moment here. Let's just appreciate who we're about to see. Right, fair enough. Weighing at 170 pounds and fighting out of Cambridge, the Brooks, New York, Jay Bougie. I got this one. Coming to the ring. Sauntering out at his own pace because he is a man who dictates every match he is in. It's not Bougie, it's not Jay, it's Jay Bougie. And this man is representing the Walker clan tonight. He is going to show the Codos from Pennsylvania who is boss. With the emphasis on the introduction from Carolina Jim, I almost think that uh, Jim might be on the, the Walker clan payroll as well. Regardless of that, you are correct. Jay Bougie is a heck of a talent and is definitely going to be one of the competitors to watch to keep an eye on in this competition. And lest we forget, this man's stunt fighting has been featured on no less than a forum than on Sports Nation. This man went viral where he hits his takeover like you have never seen. And one can only hope he will bring that kind of mastery to the ring this evening. And let's see if the Walker can get a W to start off here. Yes, you are correct. He did go viral with that clip. I can't forget because the entire Walker clan hasn't shown up about it since he got here. But regardless of that, he is a talented individual. Two, one, but he does have 
have his work cut out for him. I will not deny that Maximo, Lope, and the Sanctuary have all trained these as well. But right there you see the Walker Clinton addressing playing dividends immediately under the mirror beaten to the ground. Right, the, the, the Walker Clinton going right after the Sanctuary representative as now DJ Epics. Yes. And Jaden Vallo trading blows in the middle of the ring as well. Well, you know, it makes a little bit of sense when you think about it. The Walker Clan. Oh my goodness, Jay Bougie getting thrown into the crowd that are under the by a clothesline. Meanwhile, a clothesline is owned by Jaden Vallow in the ring. And this is hot and heavy early. Vallow taking an early advantage here in this four-way scramble fight. Oh my <laughs> goodness gracious. Well, you know what? I will take it. You know, John Crosby, he is going to the Walker Clan full force. Fairly, I might add, and Jay Bougie is taking out that frustration that we have all felt about all these opponents. Well, full force is definitely a word to this. Yeah. That balance, beautifully balanced on top of him, just making a point. Now showing off that impressive physique and, oh, come on, using the, the shirt. Hey, no disqualifications in a fatal four-way. He is just going through the gospel according to Walker. It well, is how we have taught our men to fight, and we are so glad that we are learning the lessons that we have still Well, I guess in a fight with no rules, uh, uh, honor and uh, uh, respect is not, does not come into play as Jay Bougie goes for the cover, but it's only a two-count as Jaden Vallow gets his shoulder up just in time. You need to watch yourself on that. Meanwhile, Jay Bougie taking control, goes to Epics. But, oh my goodness, AC Lope trains Epics, gets himself back into the ring, and comes up with a head scissors up in his own. Beautiful tilt of world, taking Bougie out to the outside. Now Epics alone in the ring. Now watch out, Bougie. He's looking for you. He's sizing you up. Watch out. You've got to be smart here. I'm unable to head a stand. Big leg Larry to the corner. Stumbles out and takes a big back. Elbow as well. And this is the first time since we saw him be taken out of the ring by Andre Polino that Bougie has been in real trouble in this match. Epic sizing him up for the... Oh my oh, goodness, what a centaur! Beautiful standing shooting star press. Now they get Polino saw it coming, comes with the boots, breaks it up. Now just sending in arm drag after arm drag. Epic, I think, thought he had it there, but Polino comes in just in time now. Pops up. Beautiful head scissor takedown by Andre Polino. Beautiful. The Sanctuary loses a little bit of energy, and the HC Lope team takes a little bit of damage. I like what I'm seeing. Meanwhile, Jaden Vallo coming to here on the outside of the ring, still scrambling. Polino looking for a oh, rough kick by Bougie. Bougie multitasking here, jump, ducking that, uh, that clothesline and going after Epic, but not seeing Polino's clothesline as he dumps it to the outside. Oh, no, no. He's about to go into the danger. Don't. Don't you dare, kid. Don't you dare try this on Bougie. Toledo's been known to fly. Oh, my goodness. Finds the mark. Sends his body out. Uses it like a uh, like a missile. Oh, now Jaden Vallow getting a head of steam. Oh, my goodness. He's got some ideas. Got a few options here. Pops up over the top into the corner. Holy oh, stuff. Oh, a thunderous impact. Takes us all by surprise. Huge moonsault off the top to the outside onto Polino and Bougie. But Epic, keep your eye. He's alone in the ring now. I tell you what, I'm liking this clan warfare. I'm not the biggest fan of John Frost, but he seems like a bit of an evil genius for putting this match together. And my goodness! Absolutely dynamite flying senton! Beautiful high flying action, just like we all expected once this match started. Epic sends Bushi to the inside to continue. Now gets a cover get one. Get that shoulder up, get that shoulder up. There we go. The Walker clan will not be felled that easily. Just barely gets that shoulder up now. DJ Epic wanting to show, to show off the prowess of his HC look training. Hooks Bushi up. Watch him for some brass knuckles. Has he got, has he got oh, the brass knuckles? I'm going to do a, a burning hammer position, but Bushi fights out. Little switcheroo. Beautiful! A modified swing blade. Almost a modified swing blade with an execution in there. And that is the type of unique offense we have come to expect from this young man. Epic taking some serious punishment now. Now goes for the cover. Two count only. Bushi still in control, however. He's got to put in some more work, but he has learned how to master this ring. Jaden Valor is nowhere to be seen. Andre Polino be seen. Oh! Turns around to a stunner. 
Bougie never saw it coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, this isn't fair. They're all just teaming up on the man now. Fair is fair. There's no rules in this match. As you said before, Jaden Vallow now sees his opportunity coming at Bougie with a head of steam. Oh, my goodness. Bougie sends him to the outside, though. It seemed like he was ready. Vallow up springboard. Big bullseye takes him down, goes for the cover. Oh, come on, kid, not like this. And Andre Polina. I tell you what, I'm starting to lighten up on these Sanctuary Boys a little bit. That was some great work there by Andre. Andre Polino, of course, started out as a fan here at the Sanctuary, worked his way up, got trained, and now finds himself in the opening matchup here of Sanctuary Mania X. And Jaden Vallow sends him to the ropes, coming in, ducks that clothesline, goes low, hooks him up. Oh, man! An immaculate spinning neckbreaker immediately into a pin. That was something special from the young man. Smooth, flowing like water. Andre Polino still not able to get the three count, but still in control. Bougie uh, uh, broke up that cover as well. And now, looks like he's setting up Jaden Vallow, but Vallow fights back. I tell you what, I might be here for the stretch of the walking plan, but I'm very impressed by the stunt fighting that he's actually to put on display today. Now Bougie coming in. Oh, Bougie getting pulled out by TJ Epics now, leaving Andre Polino alone in the corner with Jaden Vallow. Oh, no, this is how careers are ended, kid. Don't do this. Oh, what? Epics up quick. Oh, my goodness gracious. With a Spanish rifle to toss, almost a, a taunt on Jaden Vallow with his training background. Oh, hang on, but he's about to get that taunt right back here. <laughs> Beautiful picture, perfect moonsault. But Epics, knowing exactly what was at risk, rolled right out of the ring. Can't get that side of the ring. Vallow tries to go for Bougie. Comes in with a beautiful springboard. Yubi Yutter, could that be it? He gets it with the Yubi Yutter. That is what we like to see. One match on the books. And one match for the Walker Clan. Man, oh man, we started off with Clan Warfare, HC Lopes Faction, Maximo's Faction, the Sanctuary, and Walker Clan all vying for dominance. And I gotta give it to you, Walker Clan coming out on top for one of the books just like...